H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so here uh, what we will do is, so summarize what we will do is based on the timelines we will decide, uh, yeah, I, will, I will come to that Manita, I will come to that, I will come to all the points, only thing is uh, you guys needs to be attentive, that's it, okay, so now here, uh, what is that, so summarize you are asking when the version get changes, so what we will do? So here, uh, you remember one thing, right? Based on the timelines, we will be testing our application only for this version. However, if any new version come to the market, if any new version come to the market, as a tester, what you will do is, you will do the compatibility testing. Compatibility testing is nothing but, you have to make sure that your application is working fine with the newer versions. That is called your uh, compatibility testing you will do your compatibility testing. That is, for that you need some time. So, see, as a tester, I am ready to test with all the versions, but you will not get that much of time. That is the reason we are identifying the versions. Because it is not possible to test with each and every version in the market. It is not possible. So, we will be selecting that few versions for our testing. However, uh, however, like, like if you get uh, some more requirements from clients saying that, uh, test with another version, then we will buy some time from them and we will test that other version also. And if any new version will come to the market, always a mobile application tester will do that compatibility testing. Because mobile applications means that right, every day you will be getting some new versions or new devices into the market. So as a tester, you have to make sure that your application is compatible with your new versions also. Fine. Now here, if you want to test your application with so many versions, like I'm, I'm planning to test with uh, so many versions of Android, so many versions of iOS, this kind of situation, your client may not provide all the real devices. Because you know that, like, right, how much expensive these uh, devices are. Especially if you go to that iOS, if they want to provide like iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, you are having so many devices. It is not possible to provide each and every device. Even a Samsung mobile also is very expensive. So they cannot provide you like each and every mobile device. What they will do is they will provide you like a two or three real devices. You can use these real devices for your testing. And remaining, can you please test in the emulator? For the time being, emulator is nothing but virtual device. That means here I don't have the real device. If I don't have the real device, where I will test? For that, what you can do is you can test in your uh, <coughs> emulator. Emulator is nothing but uh, your virtual device. You can simply say that emulator is nothing but virtual device. It is not the real device, but it will work as a real device. It looks as a real device. Like, uh, see, a simple example, you guys are having your laptop. And in your laptop, what you will do, uh, you will uh, create one virtual machine, right? Say, for example, if you want to install some software, and all. Then what you will do is you will create some virtual machine and then you will install your required software in your virtual machine. What do you mean by that? It will look and it will work as your operating system only. It will work as your Windows 7, Windows 8. It will work as your operating system. But that is not the real machine. That is a virtual machine. Similarly, for mobile also, it is not the real mobile device. You cannot make calls on that. But what you can do, it will work as a mobile. Whatever the features you are having in your mobile, you, you will be having the same things in your real device, in your virtual device also. What is this virtual device? How to create that virtual device? How to work with the virtual device? That we will be discussing going forward. Okay? Yes, Rohan, I will tell you like what is, what is the disadvantages and what is the limitations of your emulator. All the things I will tell you. Then, next one is 
screen size screen size is nothing but now if i if you are saying that android 2.0 and 4.0 fine when you say that android 2.0 or 4.0 if you are saying that uh, Android 4.0, say for example, in Android 4.0 itself, you are having so many screen sizes. See, Android 4.0 will be used by Samsung. Android 4.0 will be used by Motorola. Agree with me? Android 4.0 will be uh, used by your HTC, Panasonic. There are so many vendors who will use this Android 4.0. And each vendor will be having different, different screen sizes. Samsung will have one screen size, Motorola will have one screen size, HTC will have one screen size. So different vendors is having the different screen sizes. So it is not possible for me to test with each and every screen of Android. It is not possible. How you will expect me to test with all the screen sizes? So I will clearly mention the screen sizes which we are going to test that application. Got it? Got it? Now, you know, somebody is asking me about screen sizes. I hope now you are clear. Screen sizes is nothing but the screen, what are all the screen sizes we are targeting for our testing. Because all the screen sizes is not possible to test. If I simply say that Android 4.0, in, in one Android 4.0 itself, you will be having so many screen sizes. Different people will use different screen sizes. So it is not possible for me to test with each and every screen size. Again, here, based on the conversation with the other team members, or project manager, client, we will decide few screen sizes which we can test it, which we can use it for our uh, testing. Okay? And then, and then one more thing also, you need to clearly mention that, so which device types you are using. If you simply say that Android 4.0 will not work, you have to clearly mention that Android 4.0 smartphone, Android 4.0 tablet. Otherwise, if you go to the client and if you say that we are testing with Android 4.0, what your client will expect? Client will assume that, okay, you are testing with all the Android 4.0. And later on, if you get any issues in the production, then you don't have any justification. Right? Because your client assumed that you are working with all your smartphones, tablet, everything. Because you said that 4.0 only. If you clearly mention that we are testing Android 4.0 smartphones with this so and so uh, screen sizes and so and so version so that you will be very clear. And in future, if you are getting any issues with, uh, say for example, Android 5.0, then we will say that Android 5.0 is not in our testing scope. However, we can do one round of compatibility testing to check whether Android 5.0 is compatible for this application or not. Okay. Fine. Now you have to clearly mention whether you are testing your application with your smartphone or tablets. You have to clearly highlight that. And one more thing is, what you can do is, so if you are, especially if you are testing your uh, big applications, like especially banking applications, if you are testing your banking applications, it is always better to have your uh, mobile lab. The reason why I am saying is, when I say that uh, banking application, in banking application, uh, almost we need to test with almost each and every device. Because you don't know uh, which uh, which uh, model is using by your customer and for banking application each customer is important each and every customer is important so what we will do is most of the times in banking applications we will try to do as much of devices as we can we will test almost all the popular devices whatever we can we will try to test with all the devices because it's a banking application it's a real-time application and uh, we don't want to lose a single customer also. For this kind of situation, if you have the lab, then it will help you. Because if you have the lab, then you can create your uh, multiple emulators at a time and then you can start testing with all the emulators at a time. So that you can save a lot of time. Again, lab setup and all, it's not mandatory. So just I'm giving you that idea. 
if it is a big applications it's always uh, it is always a good idea to have the lab and then uh, right now if you see that uh, mobile applications right now all the mobile applications is performing with the help of manual testing only i mean i'm talking about the current uh, situation however down the line you can see the automation but right now everyone is focusing on that manual testing only because automation testing is still is in the kind of uh, uh, research level now down the line you can see a lot of uh, automation testing uh, however in the test strategy you have to clearly mention whether you are using your uh, manual testing or you are using your automation testing you have to clearly call out that okay this is your uh, test strategy i hope you guys are clear with this if you have any doubt let me know yes you can prepare this strategy with your uh, word document you can take the word document and then you can start preparing your uh, test strategy or test plan okay fine then what is that no lab is not mandatory okay somebody is asking who's this so so more right the lab is not mandatory for all the applications so lab is means right see the advantage of your lab is if you have that uh, your mobile lab then see when you are testing your application just imagine that you are testing your application and you are testing your application with your uh, multiple devices if you are having your multiple devices for your testing you need some network right you cannot use your personal network so you need some wifi for your uh, all the devices where you will be having it's better to have the mobile lab if you have the lab and it's a dedicated uh, environment for your uh, testing purpose so that it is easy for you got it again it's not mandatory it depends on your organizations but most of the times organizations will prefer one uh, dedicated lab for the mobile team so that they can use that particular uh, lab for their testing purpose lab means not only for creating emulators uh, so much lab means anything that means now i need the network say for example when i say that lab when in your lab you will be having that uh, machines right so you can use that machines to create the emulators for spine second thing is you will be having your network so that you can use that network for your real devices right fine now next one is so once we are done with your uh, strategy now what we will do is we will go to that uh, checklist for your mobile application testing that means if you are writing that uh, test cases for any mobile application testing i'm talking about any mobile application testing if you use this uh, particular slide then it will help you in preparing your test case this slide will help you in writing the test cases for any mobile app doesn't matter whether it's a android application or ios application now here also i clearly mentioned that apart from the functionality make sure that all the below test scenarios are covered functionality test cases will be as usual what do you mean by functionality test cases verify user is able to log in verify user is able to contact http info system verify user is able to play the videos verify user is able to uh, what do you call it proceed with the courses so all this functionality will be same functionality testing will not change uh, will not change from your web application to mobile application testing whatever the functionality testing we will do in the web application the same kind of uh, functionality testing will be done in your uh, mobile application also however in mobile applications apart from your functionality apart from the functionality make sure that the below test scenarios are covered that is important that means ap apart from your regular functionality make sure that your uh, application is able to download successfully and install that uh, application successfully and once you install i will explain you this uh, uh, what do you call scenarios in detail uh, in detail tomorrow i mean tomorrow in the sense next session which is on friday i will discuss on this in detail just here i will give you like a high level view and next session what i will do is i will explain in detail when i say that installation what kind of scenarios you will get when i say that uh, network testing what kind of scenarios you will get that we will be discussing 
So here, when I do that uh, mobile application, verify whether you are able to download it and install that application successfully. Once the installation is done, verify whether you are, you are you whether verify whether you are able to launch that application. And then, once you are trying to launch that application, then what I will do is I will not let that application to launch successfully. I will forcefully close it. I will forcefully close it and then try to relaunch it. Try to relaunch it. Try to relaunch that application and see that the uh, application behavior. Then if you guys are if if your application if your application if your application is uh, uh, what you call uh, applicable for your upgrades, verify whether you are able to upgrade your application successfully or not. If your application is the first version, then your upgrade is not uh, applicable. Then you can see that uninstallation, whether verify whether the user is able to uninstall that application successfully or not. Then interruption testing. See, you will be doing a lot of interruption testing here. Interruption testing is, uh, we will do a lot of interruption testing here. Interruption testing is nothing but the name indicates interruption. That means you are testing the application by interrupting it. So here, whenever two activities are happening parallelly, then we will call it as interruption testing. 